imagine how you design a product. You know, if someone said to you, this previous product had three systemic failures in the last month, we're not gonna do any postmortems, we're not gonna talk to the people involved, and or interview any users, we're gonna go in a room, and next month we'll present you the new solution. I think we would all have an assessment of how likely that is to work. And each person knows what to do when, to design a product for a different demographic. You interview the customer, and it may be awkward, and if this product hasn't worked for them before, that initial conversation might be uncomfortable, but that is how you get the product that will work. Um, I also think that when someone is fired for sexual harassment, that should be made public. Much like how when someone is a, commits a sexual crime, they must register as a sexual offender publicly, whereas people who commit other crimes are not required to do that. And I think in the case of firing, we keep it quiet because often it's a matter of fit. And someone who is fired from one company may be a star in another company. But in the case of sexual harassment, someone who is a predator in one company is very likely, after they were quietly fired, to get another job two weeks later and continue harassing women for years to come.